All right. Well, one of the benefits of uh, having all new hardware and everything is that I don't have to worry about my uh, deck having issues with longer winded decks. So this is going to be a pretty long show today if uh, my pre-games have ever uh, denoted anything. This is Jess Guy, my take on it. This is getting pretty figured out. There is a lot of 5.0 lists that are within like 95% of this. So um, yeah, mind stab throw here nice and early. Thank you for the hype, my friend. We're going to go over the uh, lands here. We got 21 Ash Barons, one Floodplain. Four bridges for uh, the other Silver Bluff bridges. Uh, they slowly turn into 3-3, three, three, um, you know, what, what do you call indestructible flyers. We have six islands, two snow-covered mountains, one snow-covered plains, and one fjord. Uh, we're running all four of Lorraine Revealed. Very powerful card here. Um, I think it's getting pretty pricey, if I'm not mistaken. Three Scred, just like our three uh, Mole Drifter, just because... These are very good mid to late, and that's uh, early on. We've we've got um, well, we don't really have answers early on, but when things get warranted to be a threat later, we can deal with them with this and or destroy evil, which we have two of. We've got four preordain, one brainstorm, two ephemerates, uh, all four bullets showing up. We were able to spoil this card for you uh, historians out there. Remember, uh, that's one of the few times wizards reached out to us, and we haven't heard from them since. So if you like those kind of things, let them know, please. One negate main, we've got, and I'm going with the old uh, M10 just to show off my age in this bald head. We got four counter spells, four cleansing wildfire. This card is obscene, um, especially when you're not going against another like counter style deck. It's it just uh, generates so much mana. If you're going second, it makes you go first, sort of, or at least tie for first. Uh, we got two Mer Mystics. Uh, this is kind of our closer. Even if a sweeper happens, this deck can reset so quickly with all the instants that uh, we can just get an army of critters. We've got two Archaeomancers. Great uh, Ephemerate target, as is the Mole Drifter. We've got three of those. Again, we don't really want to see it in our opener, so we're running three. One Ken Koo. Very tempted to go to two, but uh, later on... It's just uh, you want to keep your mana back for counter spells, and I think one's the right count here. Now, because of red, I'm running all three, or I shouldn't say all three. Like you're only, it's it's restricted, right? No, I'm running three of these. A lot of the decks only run one. I really like the uh, life gain here. It's usually for six or seven, sometimes eight mana you can gain, and you're drawing a card. So that's the main deck. We got two Stonehorn dignitaries. I'm going heavy in the paint again this week with uh, anti-red stuff. We don't really have that many ways to stay alive, and we're a bit of a slower deck, so. So um, for me, I'm going with the uh, the seven blast effects. You could probably cut one of these uh, down. We've got two breath weapon, two cast in a fire, and two pyroblast. So a lot of targets for our, our KO Mancer to come back via ephemerate and do some stuff. But like I said, this is um, kind of the the genre moving forward. I don't even know if that's the right use of phrase. Um, because of my new system and PC, I can stream for 24 hours if I want to. So uh, length is not really a problem anymore. So uh, we'll slowly start getting into some more uh, controly decks. I like this build. We can uh, second turn wildfire, which is always a good thing. We'll go from there and hope for some uh, good times. We'll keep this and pass. Hope you all had a good Halloween for those of you that celebrate it. I sure did. Scared the hell out of a lot of our neighborhood here. Good times. Forest. All right. That feels pretty good. Unless it's a uh, ramp strategy. But we do have a, uh, what do you call it? Undesirable, a uh, indestructible, I should say. Kenku showing up a little too early here. We kind of like to see that around turn eight and after. So that our indestructible lands that come into play tapped actually can do something. And we have ca counterspell backup. So, Oh, speaking of sleeping through at Mind Stab Throw... Um, be careful because this, uh, tonight, I think in the States is when we fall back an hour. So next week's show will, uh, let's see, it will be 8 a.m. now, th then, here, it's according to our little clock down here. Of course, you can't see that because of my interface, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's always kind of a headache and frustrating. So, all right, we're going to get ahead and act like we went first. What do I mean by that? Well, we can just, uh, you know what? I don't really need white yet. I'm going to go for island here. I'll just do that. Oh, of course we draw the island. All right, that's fine. We've got preordain to figure some things out here. We might just go the aggro plan here, depending on what are we see on turn three here. Ooh, those Kamigawa lands are sure pretty. I still haven't seen a bad one. Oh boy. Okay. Scred and company gonna be very, very key. Uh this next turn, we're just gonna preordain, hold up Scred and Counterspell because uh uh oh. Ah, they're taking a page out of my book. Thank you, Dreamer Stingo. Good to have you with us. 
as you are masticating in the background. That didn't sound too good, did it? But that is what chewing means. All right. Darn it. I can't really counter that. Let's bring out our uh, preordain here. Looking for lands, looking for white. This will do good. Don't know if I really want bolus right now. I'll say bottom top. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we can counter Scred. Of course, that's really only going to get rid of a um, bodyguard, but at the moment, we're only taking two a turn, so this feels okay. Opponent on. <laughs> all right, so we're going to just, we're all about countering lords here. Hmm. I think we let that one through. Whoa, mine's uh, throw with a 17 hour drive each way. Jeez. Holy crap, crap. That is uh, that is some commitment there, my friend. All right, so we got, hmm, not quite sure what the, uh, what the deal is here. Let's, uh, let's commit here. See if bodyguard shows up. If anything, it'll save us from being poisoned. Mm-hmm. Well, if they had a Lord, I think they would have played it, right? I want to maximize my mana. So even though that's very undesirable, hopefully they're not on some sort of red-blue, or hopefully they are on some sort of extreme build like that. This way we only have two critters to really worry about. Kenku's going to be able to block any big stuff as Bodyguard gets in for one. Bacon Master in the house. I love the hype. Thank you, my friends. If you've got any good ideas for our redemption of our little popper points or here the things you earn on twitch let us know i used to be really into that but uh just kind of fell on what do you call uh dead ears is that, the, is that the phrase all right we'll go like this grabbing a plane this time yes boop sit back on another counter spell tempted to just play another wildfire here but uh i've really got to be careful of you know things getting away from us here so got the house all to myself Computer's in the other room again. Thank you for all the props on the uh, new hardware. A lot of people were raving about how the stream looked last week. It's going to look that way moving forward. So I got all the time and space in the world. Oh, I don't like that, but we'll let it go. Little bodyguard heavy draw there. Mixing up judgment with the new, uh, with the new one. Winding way. Let's stop uh, that from happening with this. Negate showing up. Keeping them at one. We don't mind getting poisoned a little bit. Probably, hmm, really have to kind of respect that counter spell. But if you guys have any good good ideas for the use of uh, popper points, please let me know in the chat. Or send us an email, poppergana.gmail.com. We used to burn white bordered cards live for the, the big one. Um, only one time has somebody used the uh, sideboard thing where you actually churn in your points and you tell me how to sideboard. You got to be kind of on the spot with that because of the, the delay and such. We can keep that up. We can do that. I think we uh, can coup here and hold up. Um, let's let's can coup, hold up counter spell and just a blocker, right? Let's do that. Done. We'll bring out our bridge and play the sneaky route. We could attack here, but I'd rather lean on blocker and a counter. A little sneaky counter. A lot of people kind of shut off their, their mindset of that being a man availability at this stage when it's because it's a creature, but you got to always remember. I've fallen for it once or twice where I walk right into a counter spell. I'm like, oh, yeah, that 3-3 three, three flying indestructible can tap for blue. So there's that. All right, where are the lords? I don't like that. Man having to keep killing stuff here. I'm at the risk of being counter happy. I'm going to counter that. That gets rid of our blocker. And we can block with Kenku here. I don't think I want to, though, because we have a Fem right in hand. And we only have one Kenku, so I have to kind of guard it. Now, if they're watching the stream, they'll attack. <laughs> it's not the only reason they'll attack. One thing I constantly see streamers doing is points using the community if uh, to do 10 points or whatever you did. Oh, I see. So like a Hex and Rouge in the house. Good to see you, my friend. Awesome to see you. All righty. How goes things? My goodness. 
Whoo, we got all kinds of uh, options here. Almost too many for this old man. Uh, hmm. I'm going to sit back on that for just a bit. Let's develop here. We can third path at EOT. We'll say yes to this. We'll go grab uh island there. We don't really have anything to do other than a third path EOT or that. Hmm. Do I want to do that? Let me let me use the uh ah, that's tough, isn't it? I'm not a likelihood of we've already drawn two counter spells. I'd rather keep I'd rather keep uh, Ephemerate up. We'll do this. Uh, hmm. Boy, I like all of this. I'll say Brainstorm. Any order. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, let's attack here. I got plenty of blockers. There we go. Next turn we'll do stuff. I promise. I was thinking of brainstorming Neo T. I think the three damage is more worth it. I'm gonna get that Archaeomancer out. ASAP. Get our counter spell back. Maybe Scred. Who knows? Oh, it's a Lord right when we can't can't deal. Can't deal. Gonna squeal. That's six a turn if we ephemerate now. I don't think that's worth it though over the Archaeomancer play here. Come on over. Fine with that. I think I'll go grab... At this stage, I'm not quite sure. Another Lord. I can deal with these things as it, as it sits. I'm going to let this go. We'll go like this. Play the mountain. We'll use up our dudes here. Bloop. Big time targets. All righty. Let's see what we're going to do here. I'll grab Counterspell for right now. We'll film Radio T. And you all know the rest. I think I'm just going to sit back. Well, now I'm going to attack. I can double block. Mm. That was a mistake. Not not worth three. I meant to sit back because I thought I had two blue, but I forgot. If I attack, just like I was saying, can't do it with the other things. So, oops. We can gain five life if we want via Union of the Third Path. Uh-oh. Yep, 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 yep. I am going to get clobbered for doing that. Darn it. Uh-huh. You know what? Let me ephemerate now. I can go grab the... Um, I'll go grab the scred real quick. Boink. Make him use a bodyguard at least. Calling red. Oh, Okay. Well, that was a little premature, but okay. Uh, slivers. Alrighty. Stonehorn feels pretty good here. Uh, Destroy Evil is probably going to be relevant. These are all good. Probably cut one of these. Cut in a gate. We'll go down to two of these. Now then... Dignitary is going to be pretty key against Slivers. They're just a turn it sideways sort of list. Breath weapon, only gonna gonna be good early. Let's uh I guess we're gonna go like this. Let me yeah, let me try this out, guys. Pop 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 pop. Woo! Alrighty. Yeah, I tried a version of this in the Popper Classic Tuesdays, but that was Halloween and I, I shouldn't even have signed up. I won and then lost, and then I was like, drop me, because it's Halloween, and I wanted to go out and scare some people, So, which I did. had a lot of fun, sat at the corner with one of my really creepy white masks and this cloak behind me, as I've told you in the past. So I'm just like this ribbon of midnight with just this white visage peeking out from underneath it, and I don't say or do anything. Some people thought it was a statue, and so you do this slow horror head turn to let them know that you're not an animatronic. You are a living thing, and they scream and run the other way. There were some uh, middle school girls out. It, it felt like it was their first night out by themselves sort of thing. And it was very thrilling to uh, to be able to scare the crap out of them. I'm going to keep this. We can lead with a plain reveal then to the fjord. It's a little chancy, but that wildfire is uh, feeling good here. Uh-oh, what's going on with my chat here? Hello, the message. 
Oh, that's <laughs> isn't that funny? The AI of uh, Twitch is getting quite woke over here. Yeah, the clocks are next week or the, tonight, so it'll be next week's show that'll be affected. So that's kind of weird. Come on, just give me a red source so I don't have to work at stuff. Alrighty. Hmm. We don't really have any um, change of plan. I'm going to lead off a floodplain here because we've got an early auger. And we don't have an indestructible land, so I can't really fo uh, force wildfire for at least a turn or two. Ah, Shirazaman. Okay. Gosh. Not only is everybody hate the uh, fallback spring forward stuff, now it's a... Uh, darn it. It's an early lord... Okay, just going to get our mana right this sequence here. Given we're up against a creature critter strategy, probably going to have to favor red a little bit more than usual. So we got that. We can't really counter. We can do this to that, that to this. I'd rather get a counter out. Yeah, let's get a blocker out. If anything, we can stop bodyguard. They don't have another Lord. This is just a nice little roadblock. Okay, so wildfires here. Obviously, we we can't really use that, so we're going to lean on preordain, which is a really good pull right now because we can barons reveal and preordain if we need to. So this is just about blunting this first, you know, traumatic attack here. Hopefully, not another Lord shows up. Otherwise, our auger is going to be a little short. Not long for this world. Isn't that the phrase? Short for this world? Who knows? Thank you for that, Shiraz. Yeah, and then Chimsky's out busy today. Yeah, there's another Lord, darn it. Good Lord. Come on, attack with that bodyguard. I'll do the thing. I think we take this because if our situation doesn't improve, we can always... Uh, blink bolus and try to dig for some screds or such you know even our destroy evils are going to be good here down to 16 okay alrighty let me preordain first Let's see if we can find a, a land that works okay I like this little too early in the game for that. We'll say top here. We'll go like this. And next turn we can wildfire, but hmm, it's not the greatest, is it? But I do like the ephemerate pull here for the uh, counter spell, depending. I mean, if there's another Lord here, this might be over already. Yeah, I've heard about that mind step throw. It's surprising how fragile our uh, little, um, what's that called? The um, That ability of, of knowing what time. This is, seems a little reckless, doesn't it? I really wants that to get through. What, has he got some lifelink trigger here? Circadian rhythm, that's right. <laughs> Thank you, Dreamer Sango. Yikes. Oh, that's frustrating. Getting rid of our red source, that really blows. Damn good card. I like it better than that Ophi. Exiles it, doesn't destroy it. But the Ophi's new, says everyone. Don't matter. Oh, and it gets flanking. Okay. Oh, that blows. We can at least save three here. Yeah, so let's think. What's the uh, Ophi better at than the Vandal? Like, what build is it better? Because I, I, I haven't really focused too much on it, but uh, it seems pretty apparent here. All right, so let's ephemerate here. We're looking for, like, Scred, especially now that Bodyguard's gone. All right, well, we'll take it. Any order. Doink. I kind of wish we could pull a land there, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I 
explain yourself, Dreamer Stingo. Couldn't you also do that with this? I mean, you, you need more sources for it, but the ability to exile sure seems powerful to me. Okay, let's see what we get. Oh, nothing. Okay, that Stonehorn would have been a nice uh, pull in two more turns, especially with the way this game's going. Hmm. Yeah, we could keep that up. Hold this here. We're not going to be able to do much anyway. I guess we just sit back on a counter and hopefully we can pull this off. Maybe we can find a, uh, you know who, our little Stonehorn dignitary. Yeah, you know, a lot of people are always calling for the, uh, get rid of those. And I think this uh, this is just a defensive pull here. I think this is a, like a counterbait move here. So I'm just going to let that go in case there's a Lord right behind it. But no, to your point about the indestructibles. Yeah, I, you know, between red and everything, I, I don't know. I'm I'm in the uh, in the minority. I I kind of like the format right now. Everybody's kind of barking about, you know, oh this is OP and that's OP. But well, this is OP in this list. We can't let them refill their hand. We got to do this as we take nine. Oh my, more than that. <laughs> oh my God, we're almost dead here. <laughs> Against this list, this this is kind of a folly play here. Um, we really need like a, a top deck Stonehorn right now, or we're just dead. We can't we can't wiggle out of this. Stonehorn, nope. Concede. All right, that's an L. Got away from us real quick there. It's not gonna do anything. That won't do anything. I think we just run this back, guys. Again, this is good against a lot of decks. Slivers isn't one of them. Outside of uh, stopping them early, don't want to rely on that. Let's do the superstitious plan. We'll throw our bridges all over the place so that they can uh, really thrive right inside of these uh, little hobbits. Here we go. Woo! Yeah, I want to play first. Let's open up the yards. Got 15 minutes. We got this going on. We'll keep. We got to preordain nice and early here. I think it's better to just, uh, what do you think here? Uh, probably reveal our barons. Hmm, with a scred early. Let's see. I don't want to see a bodyguard here. Bodyguard kind of wastes, wastes our scred. Okay, we'll do that. I think countering here might be better. Let me uh, cycle this. Grab an island. There's another revealed. All right, we've got Counterspell up. we got a 20-turn clock if everything stays the way it's at. We all know what won't. Woo! Ooh, that's pr a prismatic-looking planes, isn't it? Hmm. I don't care about blocking very much. I'll let that go. Are they stuck on white? It looks like I don't mind this turn because we can go get red and we can go get white. If you hiccup against this style of list, it's so unfair because it feels like it, it has the efficiency of one color mana because of turns like this. I mean, we go get red. Actually, I'm going to go get a plane with this. No, I won't. I'll get red. Then we'll go get this. And we could go get the floodplain or the fjord. I guess we'll grab floodplain. And here we go. All right, we got a big boy next turn. Hmm. I don't really want to waste a scred on anything, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to play uh, <laughs> some semblance of uh, good magic and sit back on counterspell. We are a uh, control deck after all i'm so used to being aggro over the years i do like me some control though sometimes it feels unfair when i switch over to control i'm like whoa i can do that i could just say no check this out i'm not sure what overextended is all right we're countering that big time we don't want any reset values going on we're gonna have blockers for days unfortunately that sidewinder is going to be a thing against our little token so we might have to scred that after all I like this. 
Let me preordain first. I'll say top, top. I'll bring this out. Let's do that. Slow roll, slow roll. Yeah, I'm not sure what overextended is. I remember extended. I love that format. It's like popper with uh, gold cards. Don't really mind poisonous. If things don't change, I think I get okay. Yeah, we're gonna kill that. Can we? Yeah, it's a three. We'll kill that before combat, obviously. Blonk. We take two poison. Ah, the diversity of threats is so dense in slivers. Crazy. Not sure what's going to kill us first, right? All right. I think we just sit back again on Scred. It was a theoretical precursor to modern. Oh, that's right. That's right. I think I remember hearing something about that. I do believe I'm just... Oh, boy, this is so frustrating. I need to keep red open, so I can't really use this if we top deck Ephemerate. So it's kind of like the universe telling me, don't do anything this turn. Sit back on Scred and wait. Next turn. I mean, we're going to take three poison, which is nothing to sneeze at in this list here. We might have to take that thing down. I'd love to get rid of flanking, but uh, we might have to wait on that with the uh, our Kailmancer coming back. All right, we like that. They drew a plane. Unmatching plane at that. All right, I'm taking down the sliver. I don't want our life getting chopped that badly. Bring that down. Representing we have Counterspell. We do not. Oh, Dreamer Stingo. Yeah, watch. I know. This will be like one of the lowest uh, watched videos, too. Every time I play anything sort of meta, it's like... <laughs> I've created a niche. If I don't fill it, people tend not to watch. I try to mix it up every once in a while, though. Uh-oh. That's a... F that was a interesting move. I really respect that play. You'd think like, oh, that's a misplay. You got to. It's like, no. If you want to do that in this scenario against control, you want to kind of do that second, right? All right. I think our hand's a little bit forced here. I'm gonna pretend. No, I can't even do that. Our Kailmancer and a Scred's pretty much my play here. All right. It's like next turn, we'll we'll be able to pull this off. Hopefully, they don't have vines or some sort of trick. Grabbing Scred. Okay. Boy, it'd be really nice to top deck Ephemerate, which we just might because of the uh, Mold Drifter here. And we'll have a really uh, interesting option of where to go from here. Oh, our favorite card used against us. R. I should say mine. Frustration. Well, at least we're not taking poison damage. We're going to have blockers for days if we can get rid of that Lord and the Flanker. This is probably not the best matchup for a uh, Jeskai list. I don't have all that much removal, you know. Gotta respect this attack here. Just take six. Sometimes I play against these strategies so much that I can actually pilot them rather well, even on my first or second outing. Okay, we like that. I believe we're going to play... You know what? No. Let me do this. Let's get out our bird, man. We don't have blockers for that long. Alrighty. We'll sit back pretending that we have a counter. We do not. Flanking is going to be a problem, but the Lord's a bigger problem right now. One, two, three... We've only got four damage via our scred, so we've got to be very careful here on how we go about this. All right, well, this makes things very easy. We'll do this now. Killing that. Making a blue critter. Boy, I really want Ephemerate to show up when we play this Mold Drifter. 
We need to kill that uh, Sidewinder very quickly. Flanking is so underrated in Popper, just like last week when I was showing off a uh, first strike with uh, Vigilance. So hard to get around, but man, flanking's a thing. We really don't want to see a winding way or some sort of lead the stampede effect here. Hopefully they're just on another land. Yeah, that's a good point, Dreamer Stingo. I, I love all those cards, man. Not quite sure if these damages are worth it or not. Um, I'm not going to be doing any attacking here anytime soon, so I'm going to just preserve our life total here. Keeping at seven. Should have enough stuff for days here. Four, five, seven. I'm not quite sure if that's the right pull either. Problem with uh, evoking a mold drifter here is that I, I kind of want to target the Archaeomancer if I do find you know what. So, with that being said, I'm going to go here. Three, four, and five. Sure. Let's do this. Just cast it. Pretty much with this mana availability, play just about anything. Draw two. Be a good two, please. Damn it. Well, we'll make them wonder. It's getting getting grim. Only hit for one here. No kidding. Yeah, where's our uh, cleansing wildfires to clean up these sort of draws, right? i got to be terrified of ephemerate right now, but they've already shown us one macabre. So we've only got one more on the list. You can never tell how many ephemerates, you know. I was thinking running the evoke creature too that makes all the little dudes, but uh, for right now. Come on over, bodyguard. I'll block you all day long. All right. Well, it looks like we're going to be taking one, folks. We'll block here. Here we are. Yeah, it's quiet as a mouse in the house. I love it. Come on, something good. <laughs> it's just like last week, everybody. <laughs> well, at least their uh, little changeling won't have too big of an effect here. I'm not going to be blocking with anything here, so I might as well be attacking, right? Isn't that the line? Boop, here we go. I probably should have attacked with Archaeomancer at the same time. <laughs> no more lands now, I mean it. My oldest moved into his house on Halloween. That's so fitting for my boy's first night in his own place to uh, be on. Oh, God, this is this is going to be an L, I think, unless they just draw really dead here. Let's see what the damage is, folks. Well, they get three cards. That hurts. Get rid of this. Boop. And here comes the Vandal. Nope. Oh, the Lord. Okay. That really hurts, too. Dang it. Oh, boy. Hey, there you go, Mindstab Throw. Bonus points for you, sir. Just waiting for the uh, Princess Bride reference there. I was playing in a uh, pickleball tournament two nights ago, and this team was... I didn't want to be condescending, but they were really bad. So one of them noticed that I switched to all left-handed the entire game, and I was like, I'm playing an Eagle Man Toyo style. Hmm. Well, I like this play. We'll do this. Kill their bodyguard. Might be a ray of hope here. Little misclick by our opponent. I've done it plenty of times. All right. Any spell. Any spell. Come on now. Any spell. That's a spell. Tempted to even grab uh, Lauren Revealed here. We have nine minutes. i got to really be careful here. We could straight up draw... I can do the thing. Yeah, that is a good draw. At this stage, I'm going to... Uh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? I'll play the Fjord. Hmm. Well, given that they might destroy this, I'll use this white mana here. I believe I'll just bring this out. Make a birdie. Are they going to concede right away again? Maybe. Or do they have a uh, another you-know-who in hand, right? That would really suck. Cool. They don't. Oh, 
Same logic there. If they're going to blow something up, let's use this mana here. We'll blow up the Lord. Blow up the Lord. Blow up the Lord. Do, 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 do. Gonna blow up the Lord. Next to the fjord. How's that for a rhyme? The funny thing is that neither Wesley nor Montoya left-handed when they should can when then it should cancel out. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Those new um I'm very tempted to buy in in paper those cards. They they look so cool. Getting rid of the lords. Dang flanking. Any good draw here, we're pretty dead. The uh, Mass Vandal's losing all of its power at this stage of the game. Very good early, not so much now, but, you know, it's got the sliver benefit, so might as well bring it out, right? Blonk. Good. I actually like this because uh, we know they didn't draw anything better. I don't know about the Picard one. Thought I knew everything Star Trek. Star Trek. How am I saying that right? I'm getting coffee steam nose. Apologies. I did bring the remedy, the counterspell for watery nose. A good napkin. Here we are. Star Trek. <laughs> yeah, the first dot com I ever worked for. We did a uh, standalone. There was a whole enterprise set and everything. It was very cool place to work. Flanking's going to flank us out of any sort of ideas here. This blows. I think we're going to get rid of a flanker here. We're going to just block like crazy until we can do stuff here. I know we don't. Uh, the flanking's just going to do away with all this, but preserving that life, any sort of trick, even a vines. I mean, I don't know. They don't have the other green, but yeah, the steam from the coffee, even though I don't have it too hot, it's right under my nose. So kind of over time it goes up and <clears throat> gets a little humid. Starts making me feel like I got a cold, but it's just all water. Yeah, now that seems like a good idea, doesn't it? The old breath weapon. Wipe out the board. We'll do this on this dude here. Making a birdie. Getting a femorite backy. Alrighty. Boy, I'm tempted to use that on the Mold Drifter as we go like this. Okay, we've got a counter spell. That feels pretty good. Huh. Yeah, I can't really do too much here. I'm not gonna be blocking with that, so let's um Oh man, Lauren Revealed would be an interesting target for that too. So I'm gonna save the ephemerate so I can block with the Archaeomancer here. So we'll just attack with the Mold Drifter and go from there. I like the Flicker Scred or, if anything, Flicker Lauren Revealed. But he might be right. Yeah, it might be a better call. Hmm. We've only got one Scred left, and I are... Uh, Destroy evil is not going to do anything if we if we do have two in the list. Creatures aren't big enough yet other than the mass vandal there, so. I don't care about strands. I hope they have it against us. That's kind of a wasted move. Survivor's Encampment. Mad respect. Great card. Comes down to this. Seven minutes left. Let's see what we got. No on that. We need we need stuff for that to go down. God, I hope there's not a lord behind this. Bloop. Yep. Here we go. I don't know why it made me pay for it this time. We'll get a critter out of the deal. I think I'm going to hit that sidewinder so that these blocks actually start representing trades. Now we're going to get rehabilitated this way. Let's go. Alrighty, that's good times. Oh, this is rough. All right, uh, let's do this. Play white on this. Boom, boom. Oh, Lauren Revealed feels pretty good here, doesn't it? Drawn three. Uh, Scred's really good. 
I gotta go. I'm gonna go pure on this and just get scred guys. We can EOT that dude. Boop, boop, boop. Get rid of him. Get another critter. Unless they got prismatic here. Kind of want to use up my ephemerites as soon as possible, given that we've already seen some sort of answer in the form of Fairy Macabre. I've been in this person's situation all the time. You've got the answer, and it still doesn't do enough. All right. Let's watch this sneakiness show up. Always yield. Uh, where did it go? <laughs> where are we here? Exile. There we are. That's trying to make us lose the game. We'll do this. Make another birdie. And target this for very obvious reasons. Boop. Okay. Untap. Draw. Counterspell in hand. Feeling good. Yeah, let's attack. Boom, boom. I'm just going to come over with these guys. Got lots of options here. Many birdies. Birdie. Ah, let me some Kung Pao enter the fist. Here we are. Woo! All right. It's a slog, but it gets there. W! And in we go for the next one. Yeah. So we got one of our oldest bathroom breaks at the break. Being a... Was it the uh, BBC show? I forget. I forget what that one's called. It's one of our oldest ones, though. I was like, you know what? I haven't played this in like a year or something. So, Ash and Ghoul, our opponent. Let's see what we got here. We've got pretty good mana. Yeah, we'll probably just Ash Baron's turn two under the bluff. We'll keep, depending on what we see. Pretty flexible hand here. Another forest draw. Okay, this looks to be some sort of technology. Destroy Evil going to be uh, really good here. Looks like we're up against Hexproofed. Birdie, birdie. I was a little uh, worried when Murmuring Mystic got downshifted because I was like, man, three and a blue. I know it's a great card, but am I over? And I was like, no, that's going to be played. And thankfully, I was right. Tap out to just win the game pretty much, right? Great sword. That's a problem. All right. Now, do we sit back and wait? At, against this opponent, I think we do. Yeah. Worst case scenario, if they don't do anything counterworthy, we can go get a plane. This is all about the first like four or five turns here. Yeah, look around you. That's the one, Shiraz. You are correct, sir. I don't like that they used white for that. I'm going to counter this. I want to keep the tempo low. They've only got green. Worst thing here is maybe a Rancor. I don't want them uh, finding the uh, bomb here. I mean, we've got the answer and destroy evil. But we've got a 10-turn clock here, minus uh, our own union of the third path, keeping us alive and messing with that math a little bit more. Cool. Cool. Ah, all right. Well, uh, I guess we do. Let's take a turn off and go for it. Darn it. Bloop. Crunch. Yep. We've already got island in hand. I'll oh, oh, grab the plane. Play the bridge. Just a setup turn. The Great Sword, very well named. That card is great. If you're, if you're looking at it, you're like, eh, in play, like I've said, probably three or four shows in th this year. It's, it's one of the rare cards. If you put it in your list, you're like, wow, that did a lot more than I thought it would. Here it's not shining because we don't really have a blocker, but... Very much negates a blocker, so I'm glad we used that counter when we did. It's a hexproof dude. So we could do that. We could union EOT, which I like that play. Let's keep getting our land right. 
we'll go um we'll do this here on the bridge i could i might you know what that might have been the better pull to blow that up but sometimes they run basic so at this stage i think this is still the right move we'll get an island got plenty of other colors showing up well let's find out shall we we don't really have i mean we've, we've got a eot third path here let's see if they've got it we've got enough mana here let's draw another card and blow this up maybe they don't have a basic this will tell us some stuff basic at least it cuts down on the enchantment call there oh yep they are fixed all right uh i'm gonna just cycle this out i guess we could use this is kind of useless islands are always the best here here we go any big enchantment shows up we've got destroy evil union's gonna let us kind of reset here abundant growth showing up all right yeah that's why i figured our, our land was okay there triple wildfire i don't mind using one of them on that to at least get some intel on our that is i guess they're afraid of breath weapon at this point which is going to be definitely breath weapon this is hex i gotta take better notes it's always like the second game i'm like wait is this the first game and what are we playing and <laughs> Keeps getting counters on it too, so that just natural hex proof. Getting away from us quickly. Third path EOT, which is going to get us a whole lot of cards. That's not doing much of anything. Three. More likely to draw that, aren't we? Let's get a blocker out. Hopefully we find some counter magic here. I don't think we've played a land yet. Okay, boop. And away we go. We can tap our dude, still get in for six. Getting scary. Not many ways around this at this stage. I'll gladly trade a boggle for that. Of course, he's not going to let that happen because it'll work out the other way. Is this the big enchantment and send us packing, going to game, whatever? Yep. That's a really that's a really good sequence there. Really respect that. Got to let this one go. <laughs> and when he attacks, taps our only blocker. They are not new to the great sword. Very good plays, Ashingul. Excellent. Well, normally I would save these Lauren Revealed, but at this stage we've uh, being at one life. I mean, there's there's kind of no way out of this. We'll, we'll cycle this up. Uh, I'm just going to grab a basic. So if there is some sort of Hail Mary chance that we can win this, it, it'll be here. The great sword really doing some work here. All right, now we've got two critters. Kind of want to do this path right now, even though we're going to have to uh, destroy some stuff just so we can gain some life. Okay. We'll do this here. I guess we get rid of the trample ability of uh, that. Right? And then we... I don't think we can survive here. Do this. Play the auger. Alrighty, Scred would be normally nice. We'll grab the Preordain, any order, and we might as well do it now. See what we can see. Uh, that's a lot of blockers, so I'll say bottom top. If we can even live that long, right? It's going to tap that. We're going to lose that. But thanks to uh, Union, we're going to live. Come on, draw land like I would. <laughs> oh, no. They got the goods. Yeah, great towards it. I never really thought of it in um, hexproof, but that's it's gorgeous. That's a, that's a really nice pull. They got another enchantment. Alrighty, or a Mancer main. Whew. 
This looks how I'd build. <laughs> With the Rebecca artwork. Good for them. Probably going to tap. If I was them, I would tap the auger. So you don't want me to ephemerate. If they tap the auger, we're up against a really good player. All right. They do that. Gives us a little ray of hope. We take six. We'll block this dude. Aromancer main. I know that's a that's a trip. You know, you could argue that's a lot better than a, a one one if you're dodging edict effects, right? Go get back your draws. All right. I don't really know what I'm still trying to hang around in this game for. Let's see what we are gonna get here. Yeah. First things first, bring out Mystic Mac here. All right. We have a counter spell. One, two. That's totally not doable. Unions. Yeah, we're dead here. So he's going to tap that. I, if I play Union, it still doesn't work. If I play um, RKO into what? I, I don't I don't have enough mana to do anything. All right, let's ship it. They got us on the ropes here. A little too heavy and early and often. That that great sword, uh, that was pretty interesting. I really liked seeing that. All right, I'm going to bring in the Dignitary and the Breath Weapon. We are going to need these. I'm not going to need any Screds. Tempted to get rid of all of them. Sometimes, you know, they have a little switcheroo mechanics there, but uh, I'm not sure if uh, casting a fire is really going to be worth anything here. But I do want to have one option. Hmm. I do want to have one option if that great sword gets out of control again. That's the we lost because of the great sword. Make no mistake. That was a very winnable game minus those counters and such. So This is another day where you expect red all day long and you just don't see it. I guarantee you your first game in a league, you enter, you're like, "Ah, haven't seen red in a while and the oopsie, I forgot to get rid of a That's a blocker. Oh, oh well. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's never a dead card. We can always target face with that one. Okay. A little stultified here. We'll keep this. I'm going to lean on the bridge over the fjord. Scred's not a thing anymore in this build. That's something they should really do is revisit snow. There's there weren't enough cards like Scred. I know there's a a black card that's like isn't it like a zero four wall or something and it gets plus X plus X snow permanence. I mean you can have like a fifteen twenty wall or something if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Is there any reason not to run that back? Let's do this. We'll go get white mana with the uh, EOT Lauren here. Lorian revealed. Never liked that artwork. This kid at the back of the line here looks like Chunk to me a little bit from uh, the Goonies. Take away the long hair. So Hana, the evil mama. Here we go. Got double Lorne. That's why we run four. It just makes the deck like this unfair. Guess we could grab the floodplain. Where did our plane go? Did I actually side that out on accident? That was really weird. Oh, because it's island, duh. All right. I was like, why can't I see it? I said, no one ever. Whoa. Destroy Evil's got a nice new target. Let's bring out the floodplain. Sit back on a counter. Re-revisit snow, yeah. I just mean well revisit it with like a good commons. Not much good going on there. Well, hopefully they uh, go ahead.
go pretty heavy on this and uh, they don't have another enchantment. Is that worth countering? They probably have Ephemerate after this. We have a Destroy Evil for an Ephemerate. I'm going to counter this. I feel like this is a... Uh, let's get rid of Rancor once and for all. Do they have the Ephemerate follow-up? They do. Okay. We take three. We can always destroy evil instantly once our Mold Drifter blocks Selhana in a few turns. Uh, just not quite sure what the best route to victory here is. I could represent that we've got a counterspell, but I'm going to develop instead. We're going to go white, blue. I'm going to blow this up, which reduces the ethereal and kind of screws their uh, development here. We can destroy evil trick. This way we can hard cast Mold Drifter. Or not. There's an abundant growth. Tempted to get rid of that too. Taking three. Next proof. Okay, there goes that plan. We are going after the ethereal armor. If we go after anything at all. I'm not going to be casting this Lauren Revealed anytime soon. Especially with Mold Drifter. Let me do this here. Cycle. Let's go get some basics. Basic options. Here we go. All right. Well, I like that because we have options. One, two, three. Yeah, I guess we sit back and wait on this now. Yeah, I think we sit back. We sit back. Destroy evil. Next turn or kill mancer. Destroy evil. Just the destroy evil show. Yeah, that felt that feels a little reckless to do go for the two FM rates in our list here. Plus, I don't really want them targeting Mold Drifter at this stage with the uh, destroy evils in tow. Damn that thing. really don't like seeing that. All right, let's do this to this to this. We'll get rid of the enchantment here. Stay alive a little bit. That'd be cool to have breath weapon right now. <laughs> yeah, the snow centaur saw a little bit of play in stompy lists. I remember that. Talk about a reach, huh? Come on, breath weapon. Let's just end this nice and early. I'm not going to be able to block. Man, that great sword. That is... I think after having seen it, I think I might even run two of those if I was them. We're not going to be able to block because of the greatsword ability. So I think the better play here is to um, is to uh, play the uh, Mold Drifter with Evoke by being short-sighted. I have to represent counter magic here. Hmm. Then it dies, and I'm I'm stuck with nothing if that happens. I'd rather have a permanent. Let me let me hard cast the Molly. Ah, shoot. Just in case I get a rate, let's play this out. When I think about this, if we draw dead here, like land, land, I do not want to be marooned here. We can at least... Okay, that's not too bad. Union will maybe keep us in this. Great sword is... Feeling awesome and hexproof. My goodness. You saw the top of the show. I did this new little, uh, the MTGO Pyramid of Politeness. And uh, I was just trying to think of scenarios. I think uh, one of our users, our friends online, or fans, whatever you want to call them, recommended a turn 20 force spike that's successful. I was like, that is pretty, that is pretty rude. Or non-polite, I should say. So that made it towards the very, uh, top of the uh, 
no-no list. Okay, we're going to take four. This is really feeling grim here. Yep, I'd do it too. Get out of uh, breath weapon range there. Frustration. Taking at least six next turn. So we have to third path here. We can evil. We cannot play that. Negate into the counter. I think we have to third path first. Yeah, unfortunately, we have to play it kind of slow roll this just so we can gain um, five life here. Draw a card. Then we gain life. Hmm. We will be needing this. I can't foresee drawing a card meaning much here. We've already used that if we do top deck into that. They're going to hit us for seven this turn. So there's no sense in a... I drop bridge, attack. Hope we draw something relevant, or maybe our negate works, right? Wildfire is not worth the risk of a, uh, you know, some sort of uh, ancestral mask here. This is, you know, normally on on paper you think like, oh yeah, we got we got weapons here, we'll counter that, and then we'll just wipe the board. And it's like, man, that great sword really gets them out of the out of the uh, woods. There, we could destroy evil all all we want when natural counters are on the board. Nasty. Okay. They don't have any mana available. Hmm. Going after Ethereal. We're going to have to keep up the gate for sure. I hate deck thinning when, uh, you know, if they had one extra mana there, we'd, we would have just been dead if we had Cleansing Wildfired. We gotta have negate open here. Oh boy. Okay, well that does represent some sort of a trick. We have to keep open the gate. What's that leave us with? Not much. We can we can't really block Silhana. We ha we just need more turns here. Uh -huh. let's do we'll bring out Mystic Mac here. They don't play anything, I'm just dead. If they trample, I'm just dead. Damn. Yeah, we're just dead. The only out here I think is an ephemerate to Mole Drifter. Cause that'll give us two birdies. I don't even know if that's going to work, but I like it better than just sitting around. Let's uh, a wildfire here. We'll make a token. We know ephemerates right, you know, right behind here. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, it's just going to be too much stuff coming through here. I mean, we can block with everything, but. <laughs> I don't see this working. We do that. And uh, I guess we ephemerate. Doesn't really matter when. Maybe this will mess up their numbers, right? Trample on that's going to. I know. Yeah, here comes Mr. First Strike Ginormo. Ginormo Man! This is when we need foil in our list, right? Don't think we have enough to survive, but I'm just doing it to see what happens. Looks like we're going to be one and one for the day, which is good. My bladder's calling. Boop. We got all kinds of cards coming next turn. Good times, but uh, there's a lot of enchantments out, so that sucks. Boink. Ten. <laughs> we lose. Wah, wah, wah. Boink. All right, man. That that uh. Note to self, greatsword is is MVP. That was nuts. Maybe even run three of those. I'm not sure. Anyway, guys, 
I am going to run to the restroom, get some coffee. Hopefully I have enough time to do both. And I'll be right back right after these messages. What's the largest number you can think of? Um, 100,000? 999,000. A million. In actual fact, it's neither of these. The largest number is about 45 billion. Although mathematicians suspect that there may be even larger numbers. With so many different numbers to deal with, it can get a bit confusing. Unless you use maths. Maths stands for Mathematical Antitelharsic Halfatum Septomen. Think of it as the language of numbers, with one equaling A, two equaling V, three equaling hello, and so on. We use maths at almost every point of the day, whether we're working out how to thread our shoelaces, calculating the optimal moment in which to embark upon a conversation, or, if you can fly, planning your trajectory for the journey to work. But some situations require a much more thorough application of maths. Let's look at some examples. Have your... down or despondent? Has a friend or loved one noticed you look withered? Then Phyresis may be right for you. Phyresis is an all-natural Phyrexian supplement that can give you a different outlook on life. Do not take Phyresis while enchanted, equipped, or have shroud. Players taking Phyresis should not man vehicles for at least three turns. Avoid contact with humans or merfolk if you've had a recent gut shot or have had any interactions with a graveyard. In extreme cases, exile may occur. Ask your alchemist if Phyresis is right for you. Available at Morales' Market. Take that, you critiquers. I redid the VO. We will keep this. I've double mulliganed here. We'll get rid of our Kaomancer and probably Union. It does draw a card. Let me do this. Done. We'll rock down here. Yeah, we'll bring out the bridge. Bring out the bridge. Hmm. I was in such a hurry in the other room, and I had plenty of time. I came back, and there was 40 seconds left. Okay. This looks like a frustrating matchup already. Well, EOT white, if not counterspell. Looks like familiars of some sort. We Some of these builds have those in the sideboard. What is this new devilry? Tapping for white. Okay. This is very much so that... Build? Let's see. Floating because. Attacking for zero. Good times. Cycle. White. <laughs> Guess we'll play that. Sit back on counter magic. And hope for the best. Probably die like the rest. Here we are. And for those Ayukaras in the house, all right. Uh, and for those of you that missed the old nostalgia of me mispronouncing Phyresis, well then, I'm not sure if this is worthy of that. Counter or not counter, third path, uh, let's counter. I don't want them getting anything they want. Let's go. It is still available is my point if you scroll down Deep down into our video archives, you can uh, you can find the old funny mispronunciation of it that I did for years. Thank you so much. March and scroll. And let's be honest, I countered that because it's white bordered. Uh, they've got access to snap. Not quite sure if I want to um, EOT third path and, and wait for... Um, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna run out our dude. Let's go. Gives him a snap target, but at this stage I'm not quite sure if that's. We'll see. I'm just talking to talk at this stage. Ah, <sighs> damn. Yep, of course. There's a little time walk for us. Familiars. You know, do, 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 anti blue. Free turnabout. Oh, Phyrexian plain love there. Yeah, the last time I saw Merchant Scroll make a list was in Tribe. Pretty valid in Tribe. You know, I had a Pharaoh list that ran the Ox and the um, Enchantment Umbra that flips stats along with the uh, Solid Footing. Actually had some promise. There's that new, or not, there's eight versions of an uh, artifact that it's some sort of shield and it gives them plus zero, plus three in Vigilance. And uh, I've, I won quite a few games with that silly little thing. All right, I guess we uh, did. Do, do we run it back and just hold up Ephemerate? I'm gonna. Boop. Represent, and we got it. Do they have a hard counter for this? Looks like they do. Prohibit. Okay. I brought another one just for that. Ha. <sighs> Yeah, zero four bodies for one mana. That's a lot of cards, especially when they got any sort of uh, flavor text in there. That uh, or I shouldn't say anti-flavor text, right? Reminder text. Telling play. Is this a mold drifter move? Oh, Lauren revealed. Okay. All right. You're definitely ahead on cards, thanks to Lorian. Lorian. Here we are. Well, that helps, doesn't it? Two, three. Let's do this thing. We'll do our own version of this. Bloop. Bonk. Refill. You draw three, we'll draw four. How's that? Good times. All right. Let's do this while we can. Get out of here, sucker. All right. Boop. And play the bridge. No reason not to. Blop. All of a sudden, we're feeling pretty good. Three, six mana. That's about all we need. Wrong. Eight's about where you want to settle, just because if you uh, Lorian revealed the counterspell backup. Go ahead and snap that, please. Funny that uh, most of the uh, enter the play abilities of all the creatures in Magic, and yet snap's still a good tempo move. Especially since you can target whatever you want. That one five is going to be missed. Boink. We're going to gain a whole lot of life here unless they've got some sort of a dispel trick. Draw two more. They have drawn six. We have drawn six. It's going to be seven. Uh, before I drop that, let's do this. Third path. Bloop. Draw some more cards. I really like this. Drop the land. Pass the turn. Here we go. Bonk. Well, have I played a land yet? Yeah, let's do that one instead. That's a little bit better. We can negate. We can scred. We can third path if they just stare at the uh, sky and do nothing. And here we go. We can get our Mystic online. We can really pull ahead. I mean, that's always true. Okay, we can just scred that. And what is this? Uh, change of plans. We'll scred that. We've got one blue up. This stage, I'm not quite sure if that's really all that important. Let's scred this now. They're snapping that. 
Yeah, I guess we negate the snap so that it dies. They get their scroll, but uh, I don't want them to untap and do more this turn. So we'll do that so that scred will work. See two snaps. Gain a life. What are they gonna? This way, we at least get some intel. Must be a blue instant. Reveal it. Probably just a counterspell. Prohibit. All right. Just to prohibit. That seems pretty underwhelming. I remember playing an invasion block and I had four prohibits main and always feeling so prohibitive that I'm like, I wish it was just a counterspell and little did I know later on it would do so much, right? Let me do this now. I just, I just want options. We're really dead here. Um, hmm. I, I think I'm just going to hard cast this, guys. I've already seen one ephemerate. It's only one more on our list. I'd rather just have an answer here. Especially with that prohibit staring us down. So let's let's refill our hand again. Bloop. Keep it real. Attack. We got all kinds of cards coming our way next turn. Tempted to blow up that chancery. Chancery. Chance. Chance. Attack. That's the idea. Go ahead and snap these, please. Damn, I hate that card. Are they going to grab Merchant Scroll? <laughs> the states that kind of stuck doing the other thing. Lauren Revealed. All right, no. That wasn't Lauren Revealed. Game Log. Prohibit. Double Prohibit. All right. They've got Double Prohibit Mana. So let's blow up that Chantry, which will uh, make them use one. We've got four damage a turn. That feels pretty good. There's our own dude. Let's uh, let's see what we can see into the future. Maybe if we get a uh, counter spell of our own liking here, we can do that. Please prohibit that. That would be awesome. We know they've got two on hand. Union, brainstorm, kind of like union here. Yeah. Hmm. Let me go brainstorm. Any order? All right, we got enough red. Let's keep things going like this this stage I'm going to blow this up this will buy one of the dudes here Boop. if you're going to use a prohibit our land's fine right now this is kind of like a okay that's fine do that cool wall attack Mortuary Mire. Welcome back, Sunscape Familiar. Next turn, at least. One prohibit in hand. That's why I didn't dismiss it. I do like the new, uh, the look of the new prohibit over the old one. Sort of a meeting of the minds. Interesting. Let me brainstorm in response. See if that's worthy of a prohibit. Probably not. Okay. Well, destroy evil is just a whole lot of nothing in this list, isn't it? Um, hmm. Okay, 
Okay, all of his stuff is free. Hmm. I guess we reveal, pull out the prohibit. Oh boy, this is getting grim quick. Huh, meeting of the minds, okay. Maybe they have two counters in hand uh, other than the uh, prohibit that we do know about. Interesting. Meeting of the minds, keeping in their life total nice and healthy. Tapping out. All right. I like this. We got all kinds of room and rules here. Cool. Big change of plans here. Yeah, we can. It, as it sits, we'll lower and reveal our Kalemancer into a Scred and what? Grab Ephemerate. Grab probably Scred. But what do we really turn off? We want to turn off their own Archaeomancer here. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Cast this. Destroy evil. Leave me alone. I've seen you enough. Well, we could, uh, our kill mentor back the, uh, I really want to get rid of this. Yeah, let's do this. Main bloop. Getting our own scred back. It just implies that we have, an, uh, we have, you know what, in our hand. Um, I just want to kill this thing. Bloop. All in here. Attack. Any snaps here? We, we're loving it. The only thing that we really don't want to have snapped as a mystic here. It's kind of our win condition. Ooh, I think I'm going to lose on time if I was to be a betting man here, everybody. But uh, we'll see what happens. Now they don't really have a good target other than the Seagate. Turn off that engine. Saw some really good kickboxing matchups on uh, Amazon Prime last night. Man. Those guys were going 200 miles an hour. I have to say, it was a little more entertaining than a lot of MMA fights. Different formats in each one. There was one that just forbade any sort of lockups. Like if you go and hug your opponent or try to take a breather, it's like, nope. In the boxing world, and Ganyu shocked the world. And according to me and everybody else that saw that fight, easily won that matchup against the uh, Gypsy King. Never thought that was going to happen. Imagine going into a new sport against the very best, maybe ever, and you beat them, according to pros and experts. They really need to investigate that fight. That was pretty one side. Okay, this is getting ugly quick. This is like a rush to the Mystic. They've got a prohibit in hand, one in the yard. Oh, I've played Nightmare Chess before. Played three-dimensional chess. Played a lot of chesses. I was thinking of putting Campfire in this list. It's really good against red and against these kind of matchups where you're you're just drawing your whole deck and then it has that nice little second ability of the Felden, Felden's Cane sort of trick. It's a card I kind of ignored when I first saw it come out, but it's uh, seeing a lot more uses for it lately. Oh boy, we don't need destroy evil at all. Right, everybody? Ouch! Well, maybe we'll deck them. Who knows? Whole lot of flyers going on. Yeah, multiples of those against red can really keep you alive, and then against uh, if you. If you misappropriate it, you can just do the thing, right? Meaning like, uh, if you, oh wait, what's this? Is this another? 
Mystic? Okay. It feels like it's getting ahead of us here. We're up a minute on time. Our opponent's drawing a whole lot of cards. We've hit them so many times, and they're at 31. Yeah, I like, I like Quiet Disrepair quite a bit. There's just so many ways of getting rid of Indestructible anymore that uh, it doesn't feel as safe as it used to, but those are very fun lists to play that way. Okay, we've got a wide open, uh, wide op big opening here. Uh, hmm. Well, let me preordain first. Uh, at this stage, we'll say bottom top. I'll preordain again. Really want to find uh, our own mystic here. Bottom top. Let's wildfire this. Draw a card out of the deal. At least turn off a little bit of their free mana. And help them. Gosh dang it. This is this is really frustrating. We'll blow up our own land here. Yep. We'll go grab the last little bit. Might as well play this out. Where is Kenku? Ah! Boy, Destroy Evil is so dead here. I always thought that was just like such a universally good card, but not so much. Ah, Murmuring Mystic, where are you? Neither Hurricane. Can't you destroy evil, the mystic? Oh, yeah, duh. I always think of that as the power. Thank you for that. Yeah, that was a big kind of a punt move there. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'll try that EOT, seeing that they have a, uh, they don't have the, um, yeah, you're right. That was a, that was a punt. I should have done that. Thank you so much, Nether Hurricane. I, I'm almost always forgetting that. I always think of it as power. <laughs> Let me try it now. Get rid of this dude. Probably counterspell the... There's a prohibit. Now I'll counterspell the Archaeomancer. Otherwise this might be GG. We got nothing after this. Good times. All right. Cool. We can uh, destroy evil at next turn. See, I meant to do it all along. <laughs> hey, all right. No LaRue, if I'm saying that right. Good to have you with us. Sorry about the COVID, but from what I hear, it's not that bad anymore. A little bit of a... Hopefully that's the case with you. Just a bit of a sniffle. Of course, depending on what country you live in, it could be pretty draconian still if you've got it. I always remember when COVID first struck, you'd be out and you'd hear, somebody would cough and everybody's head would be like, <laughs> It was like, come on, people. It's just a bodily function. It doesn't mean they have it. Just a cough, yeah. Yeah. All righty. Going all in here, eh? Okay. I got some trick here. What's going? Why are you attacking with a pharaoh? Hmm. Well, let's clean up. We'll block. Um. Hmm. Let's block here, here, and we'll go here. At least get rid of one uh, seagate. Boop. I don't have any attacks planned here. We'll wait on this. We'll destroy evil this dude. Of course, we could go after the land right now. You know what? If they have a counter, that might be the better pull here. Let me do this here. We still draw a card. Forces them to, if they've got it, we should get rid of that because they've already used the one that we know of. Draw a card. Hey, that worked out really good. Two, three, four. Play out our own Mystic. They don't have any mana floating. Do that. Get rid of their Mystic. Finally, bloop. Get out of here, sucker. They got a Moly back. 
we'll uh, we'll just sit back, pretend that we've got counter magic. Got him up by a minute. Minus Mr. Chatterbox here. Damn, that Mystic showing up again. Oh. Oh, yeah, our Cowmancer is much better pull. Come on, Counterspell. Boink, boink, boink. All righty. It's getting away from us quick here. And I'm going to get our little Ephemerate back. Now Snap's online with our own Mystic. Times like this, I wish I had my cob. <laughs> Doesn't feel as bad knowing that we have our own little graveyard tricks, but. Going for ephemerate. No big reveals there. Doing it now. I respect that. Yep. Before I can draw on the counters. Getting back Merchant Scroll. More thinning, huh? All right, the big reveal. Let's see what their uh, killer card is here. Going to be a blue instant. Can't be that powerful. Ghostly Flicker. Okay, I take it back. That is pretty powerful. <laughs> Time to yield. Let that clock eat up the time. About to write an L for this one, but uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, Breath Weapon actually wouldn't be too bad. Thank you for that, Dreamer Stingo. Kills our own too, and all right. Ah, begin sideboarding. Breath weapon, two damage to each non-dragon. Yeah, it'll kill our dude too, though. Uh, up, 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 up. Two blasts coming in. I take it back. Destroy evil. You're pretty good, but we don't really need too much life gain here. It is nice that it's an instant. Alrighty, let me look at the new uh, anti blue and breath weapon. Hmm. Yeah, I do know it's coming. That's a good point. Was there any sort of artifacts? No. Let's make room for two of these. Scred, I like. I like anything instantly. The gate's going to be. All oh, these are going to be good. Could probably lose two bolus here. I think that's the call. We're not doing too much ground attacking with these walls running into us, right? So much so, maybe another path for a bolus. Nah, we'll keep it like this. All right, let's go. I think they're just out of win conditions there as far as they were going to deck themselves, so... No sense in uh, graveyard hate when you can say no to spells with counterspell and a gate. So that's a nice little uh, another benefit of playing blue. Can't wait for tomorrow with the new daylight savings time. The pickleball tournament will be starting an hour earlier. So I am uh, well known of being a quite the vampiric player. If it's dark out, I'm almost unbeatable. If the sun's on me, I play like a mortal. I hope it comes down to the breath of it. <laughs> yeah, this... I knew this was a good card when it came out, but I didn't know it was going to be that good. It's just, of course, you know, of all the island cyclings, or I should just say land cycling lists out there, blue gets the best one. It's just between that, Ash Barons, the Wildfire, it does not feel like a three-color deck. If you're kind of new to Jeskai, I'd recommend this list over um, even some of the tournament-winning ones because those are so fine-tuned. Unless you see some sort of a video on how to play it, 
I'm by no means an expert, but uh, I don't think it's ever a problem to draw cards and gain life via the third path, which is why I made room for uh, three of them main. It uh, really keeps you alive against red, especially game one. In my experience, you need a lot of help against red, so you need some main deck answers. And what deck isn't trying to kill you, right? And if worst case scenario, you draw a card, so. Oh yeah, no, no Leru. Yes, I've I have been. Um, and my kids have it too. Even when they're kids, my wife's like, "Maybe you're right," because she always thought I was kind of exaggerating about how much the, especially for me. You know, anybody if you're in the sun, it drains you. But man, my battery, if I was like an organism on record, is goes like, oh, that's unfortunate. It goes twice as fast as somebody else's. I literally have always had that vampiric comment. Just always the case, always the case with me. Just Fido. Maybe they're playing the uh, Spirited Companion. We want to play first. Anybody get that? All right. Let's, oh boy. <laughs> Talk about, this is when you really need Lauren revealed, right? We got a mulligan this. We got all the wrong stuff here. All right. We'll keep this one. We're so far away from our Kaomancer being a thing. I'm going to throw it back. Done. Lead off with the bridge and pass the turn here. Sit back on Counterspell and pretend like we know how to play Magic. Yeah, Shiraz, you know, the same way. It's funny, I have one or two friends that are the same way, and they're all of the uh, Nordic persuasion like I am as far as like where their ancestors are from. So I honestly think our the DNA strand from especially my father's side over has just been in the snow and the shade too many generations. And so, all right, I like seeing this. I'll sit back and wait on this. Tempted to just preordain fix mana, but don't know what we're up against here. What is this? Probably Icker or Lembas. Don't really feel like that's worthy of countering. Let me cycle this for a white. Hmm. Flood plane. Grab flip plane. Put that through. I think we just preordained pass here. Well, I can't really do that unless we draw an island. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. This is. Well, let me do this. Maybe we'll find an island. Then we can still kick with that bottom, bottom. I've got all this stuff. All right, I'll do this instead. Boop, 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 boop. Crunch. Yes. I already got the white. Don't really have one now. We'll grab island here. Bring out the bluff. Ha! All right. This is going to be cast in a fire. I'm going to call this cat cow. Did not expect to see this. Cast in a fire, such a good card. Wellspring showing up. What's that? I think Nolrod has one of my favorite quotes of all time. But it does nothing. It's like, exactly. It's kind of like Icar Wellspring for Popper. Did I get that quote right? Hopefully I did. Well, we've got a blocker. I like that. I think we just uh, plud, uh, bleh, <laughs> plud. <laughs> we'll just get this out for a blocker and Edict Effect, so we can turn on Kenku next turn. Fem rate's pretty good. Destroy Evil's... Well... Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll go with a Fem rate here. Bonk. I'll do that. Any order. Sit back on Counterspell. Here we go. Kenku, wow. Well, it's good that your most decks only need, at most, two of them. Such a mid to late game card, so there's that. And you know what? We're we're bitching about things costing less than ten dollars USA currency is at least that is a lot for one card, but you could put it in an infinite number of decks and I'm countering this. Gonna stop any sort of gas from happening here. The 
it's still not that much compared to like real life you buy it and then you have to de-sleeve a whole deck to play in a tournament or change this deck up one way or the other Alrighty. One, two, three. It doesn't really matter if I do that. One, two, three. Attack with that. Play this. Drop this. Attack with the bluff. It's no secret what we have in our hand being ephemerate. Taco. This stage we can ephemerate our Kenku. Take that $9 price tag and reduce it by half. Yeah, that's true, Dreamer Stingo. That's a that's a good point. I will admit I forgot this little trigger. But unless he wants to kill the cat, we're still alright. Death touch. Well, our dude has flying. I don't think Augur's worthy of uh I don't think Augur's worthy of saving here. We'll let it go. I'm very happy that that cost a card. I mean, as it sits now, we'll just Kenku, I mean, <laughs> well, ephemerate Kenku. My my old brother the semi cough for you uh, hardcore fans out there. Uh, my brother, when I went to see him, he he just loved. I swore that uh, Kenku Artificer was actually called Kenku Sneak from D and D lore, just the same sort of creature, and he just loved the way that sounded. So we just kept saying that all weekend. So I, if you if I slip up and call it Kenku Sneak, that's why. Looks like they're a little mana starved here. She loves ambush. So many cards do this. They're just getting better and better as time goes on. We have plenty of mana here, so we're going to um, we'll ephemerate the Kenku. However, if we ephemerate Kenku here, we don't really have another target for Kenku. I don't want to do it. That loses uh, half the value of ephemerate there. All right. Yeah, let's let's do this here. Yes. Red might be a thing in the future. Let me grab a basic here. Union showing up. We got the goods. Regardless of what we do, we're going to be able to preordain here. Cleansing welfare and revealed. I like those a lot. I'll say a top top. Uh, attack. Do I attack with both? Try to get that, um, nah, we'll just do that. Can always uh, Kenku or ephemerate the Kenku, but right now that union's gonna be the pull. Maybe not, maybe I, I wait on the uh, revealed here. I'm not quite sure, we'll see what happens. Fido's got the knowledge. Yeah, that's why I'm always a fan, Dreamer Stingo, of right when a card comes out, get like four of them, or if you have any suspicion, get eight of them. I think I did that with quite a few cards. And give them to people later, or sell them if they get crazy. Of course, I'm the guy that gave away a couple of prismatic strands this year. I know I could have sold them for a few tickets, but I'd rather get more people into the format. A lot of people way worse off than me, that's for sure. Okay, I would have attacked first, but all right. Yeah, that's good policy there, Dreamer Stingo. For a while there, it felt kind of reckless, like, you know, oh, God, nothing's going up or nothing's popper worthy. And then, gosh, this last two years, it just seems like almost every other poll is worthy of that. God, we don't care about this at all. How about ya? I mean, we can't ephemerate our Kenku, but nor do I really want to. <laughs> I guess we'll third path here just to... I mean, we're going to gain three life. 
they're draining our life slowly, so we'll do this thing here. Boop, boop, boop. All right, we can reveal. We can blow some stuff up. Mm -hmm. Bomb buns in the house. I don't think I've said your name before. Good to have you with us. Thank you for joining us. Well, let me do this now. Cast Kabamo. This just feels so OP when you drop it. Woo! There we go. We got all the options in the world, folks. Let's attack. Got a counter spell. We got ephemerate. Ephemerate's pretty useless here. Hmm. Yeah, I'll let that go. Counter spells a lot more valuable here. Not that we can really do much about it. Cauldron familiar keep coming back into play, but glad we've got unions here. Three damage a turn. Yeah, something tells me I can't let that go. Let's get rid of that. That seems like a infinite trigger, even though a lot of our stuff has three toughness. I don't want those sort of sacrifice shenanigans going on with the uh, kitty cat coming back every turn. It's fine. You can have it. We'll do that. All righty. Opponent's got two mana. What is this? There's another one. Darn it. We'll be able to attack here. Ah, let's do this. Yes. We'll go grab a plane. Get that online. Got that to that. Play an auger. Scred and Counterspell. I've already got Counterspell. Don't really need Scred. We'll bring in Counterspell. Any order. Play this. Attack like this. Feeling all right. Yeah, how they recommend goat bots. I just saw that mentioned in chat. If you get a little tired of the mothership being MTGO traders, always good though. They're always the supporters of uh, Popper Classic Tuesday, so can't say. Very, very, very similar prices with all the robots and everything like that. But a lot of times, goat bots will have like the if you're looking for really rare stuff, like like the new Ornithopter or something. All right, so they could just sacrifice a food to keep getting this back. So I don't really see a reason to um, counter that. I've only got one food token out right now. I'm going to counter this. I'll keep Try to keep the food off the table. <laughs> Silly as that sounds. I'll counter that. Oops. Got another one? They probably do. I keep holding on to all my rares and stuff. Every once in a while, I'll run into one of those bots that just grabs everything that you've got in your trade pile and is like, here you go, you know, take 500 tickets or something. And I'm like, oh, I'm really tempted. I've been playing this game about 25 years, and I very rarely mess with anything gold in color. My hope was that my youngest wanted all my cards, or when I'm dead, he'll take my account and it'll be worth something, which I'm still kind of lingering on, but uh, I don't know. Such a neat freak, even being digitally clean is kind of a thing here. This is interesting. I can double ephemerate the uh, Kenku. That'd be pretty funny, right?
let's try this. I'll cast this here. All righty. Let's preordain. <laughs> It'd take a lot more than that, Dreamer Stingo. I've got quite the windfall here. Well, let's say top, top. And let's just do everything this turn, eh? Let's do this, this, and this. Cast this, bloop. And we got a nice target, right? Yeah, they can target that twice, which sort of blows, but uh, I'll give it a go here. Oops. Oh, there's a misclick. I clicked out of, I thought I clicked that in the right order. My bad. That being said, we'll just play out the fjord now. Bloop. Attack. Sacrifice an artifact or a creature. Let's go. Dr. Devil. We lose a life. Hey, can you activate the Springleaf Drum here? Yeah. That's frustrating, but if I do this now, they can do that to that, which would target that. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that'd be pretty reckless. Let's leave that go. I've taken the family out to dinner a few times, especially back when I used to grind. You get so many tickets in your account that you just cash out for like, I think it was a 10 or 8%. So like you give them a hundred tickets, they send you a check for like $92 or something like that. That was pretty cool. If you go to the old like mtgstats.com, I think it was called. And you look at my tournament stuff, it goes back about 30 pages of fine printed, you know. For those of you that forget those, back when I used to be a grinder, those were the days. I've got a wealth of ephemerates here. Of course, we know what we're going to draw, so it's not really worthy of it. Let's uh, psych. Ah, shit. I, I shouldn't have done that either. <laughs> I just stacked my list with the uh, preordained mole drifter play. That's funny. And by funny, I mean bad. <laughs> Row on. You go for it. A lot of people can't deal with an indestructible 3 3 flyer. They'll probably change their tune next game, they'll have cast in a fire. We'll grab an island. Now, just about anything we draw is just going to be gas here. Opponent's doing a very good job keeping up with our card draw. If you look at our graveyards and hand totals, pretty respectable. The Grim Search is over. All right. We don't need any more uh, artifacts here. Let's do this first. Destroy evil. I like that. I'll say top and bottom. Let's at least um, get rid of the munitions here. Destroy evil. There it goes. Sure, let's play this. Alrighty. Lauren Reveal, of course, any order. Yeah, let's attack. All of our counter spells have been used. So let's let's cast that Lauren Reveal and we'll keep up both white sources. That's the uh, way I'm thinking anyway. Two, three, keep these up. Four, five, just in case there's some sort of trick technology. And just want to make sure all our counter spells were out, otherwise that might not be the best play. Double ephemerate's pretty mean. 
course, Kenku's dead. Okay. Yeah, I guess they can just sacrifice that EOT, right? Scred would be pretty funny right about now, huh? Really like that. Have I played a land yet? I have. Okay, here we go. It's neat with that uh, defensive bonus, given that uh, she lobs ambush, she can uh, activate cart can and keep things alive. That's pretty funny. Alrighty. How did that actually go down? What did I miss? I don't remember doing much of those getting hit at all. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Union's going to feel pretty good here, especially with uh, our opponent looking like they're going to go far ahead this turn. I didn't even re realize that they blocked. That's how kind of uh, <laughs> out of it I am right now. I'm just going through the motions here. I should be focused a little bit more. Go to 11. Let's see. It's a potential at this stage of the game, they probably have at least one or two blasts in hand. Let's see what happens here. Oh, that's a good, that's right. Death touch. That's right. Dreamer Stingo. Good call. That is the Shaman doing the damage, and he does have Death Touch, so that's pretty good Good times. All right. Well, best case scenario, they've got double that. Okay, that's fine. Union's going to feel really good here. Okay. Boy, that... Ken Koo doing some work. Let's... Keep honest straight out of the way. Bloop. We will draw. Gain all kinds of life. Oops. Okay. For the win. W. I gotta use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back, guys. Hopefully our opponent doesn't go anywhere. As do I. Be right back. Alrighty, what were we gonna do? We're gonna bring in, cast in a fire, so we can exile, right? Let me double check that that does that. Nope, that exile is an artifact. Yeah, I could see it being a little bit better than breath weapon, though. I don't believe I'm gonna bring in anything else. Destroy evil felt pretty good. I don't know if we need two of them, though. These are good blockers. Hmm. Yeah, we've seen enough for that to be warranted, too. Mystic, where were you, huh? I like having the three unions. Boy, I don't know. Uh, honestly, I think we lose two scred. These can spread out to two things. Hmm. Let's try that. Whoop. Alrighty. Nope, our opponent's still deciding. So that bathroom wasn't wasted. I tell you one thing I've always wanted to brew around is Cavern Harpy. I keep meaning to do that. Campfire, maybe? I'm not too worried about red stuff. I've got counter magic for that. I'd rather not just be stuck staring and waiting for something to go down. I 
Like I said, with the man of the way it is now, if you can just repetitively keep gaining life, whether maybe even familiars could use something like Cavern Harpy, right? The benefits of age and I'm not saying anything new, but you know, it comes with wisdom. And and if you played as long as I have, a lot of times you can kind of just bank these old cards and. Sometimes people, they're so looking at the new set, the new set, the new set. But sometimes the new set's okay card makes an old okay card into like the next, like, oh my God. You know, Psychotog upheaval comes to mind. Let's go, Fido. Woo! Hopefully we can bring him to heal. Hey, what's going on over here? My game screen isn't perfect. Let's move it over here and go like this. There we go. <laughs> I don't know that last card you mentioned. It must have one of those weird gold symbols I hear about. I've always liked it to just say deluxe. I should have just made that my username. Ooh. Seems like there'd be better uses for that. All right. Is our opponent here? Or did they run away? They're here. There's no comments. We're waiting for them to decide. Let's give them till the bottom of 14. They went to time on the uh, sideboard there. Really couldn't have picked a better time to use the facilities. Actually, I'll give them a 1440. Otherwise, I think our, uh, our opponent's just um, not here. Which in our pyramid of politeness is towards the bottom, meaning very impolite. Game log. Chat, nothing. They joined the game. I'd hit question mark enter, but that's the uh, hot key to go to my camera. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna stick to my plan and give it a 14 here. Dot, dot, dot. Come on, dude. Let's see who wins this one. Uh, apologies to the viewers. Fortunately, uh, let's remember to block Fido. Well, maybe that. Maybe if they do it twice. All right. We'll count that one as a W there. You can see Matt. Sorry for the boredom there, guys. We have lost a hex proof. Let's go into the last round. I really thought uh, when I hit enter for the last round, it would be about 12.30 my time, which is in an hour and a half. Um, had some pretty fast matchups here. All righty, let's do this. And here we go. Let's never combo with Relic Bind. Our mana's looking good. We got early stuff early and often. All right, we'll keep this right on the edge here. Enough mana that we can bring out Kenku pretty fast, depending on what we see. Green go nine four nine four nine four. So our opponent, let's go. Another forest. Ooh, looks like walls. Okay, that scred's going to be very beneficial. So much so that I think we leave. Do we leave back the bridge? Lean on the. Yeah, uh... we'll lead off a bridge. Get our Kenku in the sky here. It represents some sort of uh, tricks here. I just got an idea. I like it. Hmm. This is systematically a deck I'm surprised I don't see more of because for me, almost every time I run into walls, it beats me. I have a very, very low average about beating it. All right, so we have this out. I really have to start getting our um, mana right. I can only kill the um, Quarian Ranger right now, so I think it's better that we just preordain here. We've got enough mana. I'm going to say bottom, bottom on both these. And hope for the best. Here we go. Probably Island Preordained Pass still. 
There's almost no damage being represented here. Uh oh, really would have had been nice to have a counter for that. Don't be more than two cards. Come on, come on. Ugh. Halo Hopper. Is this me? My build of. <laughs> wow. Let's draw four cards. Sure. Let's. Okay, well, I guess they don't want us to check things off. Hmm. Alrighty. Here we go. Nest Invader showing up, representing some bit of damage. Yeah, Breath Weapon. Respectably considered. Sure. I mean, it would take out one, two, three, four, five creatures right now. It's going to be six. This is just like wide aggro walls with a wall shell or something. It's just strange. Yeah, I like this. I'll do, um, let's get out a blocker here. Probably Ken, oops. <laughs> Probably Kenku next turn. Blue, red, boom. This at least stops pretty much everything from attacking, and we can sit back on Scred and wait here. What do we got? Counterspell. I like that. Good times. Any order, please. Scred for two. Got to remember that. It is not three. It is two. Probably best to wait. Got a new commercial in the works with uh, Naturalize and Reality Acid. Should be ready by next week. Uh, same voice artist that did um, Giga Drows is going to be the, uh, the voice actor for that. This is a very strange list. Boom, boom, dismiss all. Here the hopper showing up. Okay. Really? Huh. All right, we'll block here. Given what we've seen here, I'm just going to try to turn off their aggro. And then we can um, we'll blow up the uh, hopper here. This is... That's what it must be like when I'm playing a list. You just don't know what the hell the person's on. Looks like they're going wide aggro with kind of the walls engine. I know I said that before. Bears repeating. Well, let's see. Got a few options here. By a few, I mean about 17, depending on the decision tree and the logic stack you use. Kenku is probably the better call just for a blocker. And to pretend, yeah, I don't know what I'm looking around for. I'm just going to Kenku right now. So we at least represent some uh, damage. Especially if they draw like a land here. We just have it. And we'll pass. There's one or two new cards in the new set that I've been looking at, but not many more. A lot of reprints. Uh-oh, looks like they drew something worthy. Oh, no, this looks massive. What is this? Yikes, a generous int. Okay. That's big. And it has reach. Darn it, we're going to have to deal with that. Uh, Scred's pretty far away from dealing with that. Let us, uh, hmm. 5-7, that's a thing. Union could get there. Let's preordain here. Looking for a uh, unkillable land. We can still do a, a cleansing wildfire, so I probably shouldn't even lean on that. Hmm. I'm going to say bottom. Uh, boy, having a. One, two, three. I got to say bottom on this. Let's fix our mana here. We'll do this and blow this up. Go get a island. Yes. Bonk. All right. Like that. We can Kenku again once we find another dude. 
That'll be good times. That does it for five, two, three. Yeah. Passing the turn. Two, three, four. Oh, no, I wish I didn't get rid of that. Um, art. I mean, uh, what do you call our Killmancer? Could spread that thing into oblivion pretty soon. Oh, I was going to say, why aren't they attacking? All right, all day long. I'll block here. I'm going to block here. Kenku has lost a lot of value, but given that we don't see many indestructibles out and about, so keep nullifying their numbers. Quit drawing stuff, please. Where is your land? This, when I play a deck like this, this is when I draw all lands, right? Okay, looks like we can union here. I think we'll lean on this over a scred. Draw a card, gain seven life. Back up. Man is right. Counter spells in tow. Let's pass again. I can uh, mold drifter ephemerate next turn. Always a good move. Paying our dues, meaning uh, killing a lot of their little little guys here. Probably just the Ent coming over this time, since we've represented that we're willing to take that damage for trades. Oh, well, that worked out well. Makes me wish I had to think twice. It's the end of the world as we know it, says Mind Stab Throw. Can we do anything? We cannot. Let's untap and draw into some magnificence. Yes, indeed. Two, three, let's do this. Okay, I will click slower this time. We'll hit evoke first this time. Boink. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, boy, we're going to have to get rid of a lot of cards here. But it's worth it. I'd rather be discarding lands than uh, messing about with this. We'll sit back on a counterspell again this turn. Okay, one, two, three, four. We could attack, uh, no, we can't, we can't do that. Kenku's gone, so that plays kind of dead in the water there. If they attack, we've got the uh, answer there. So we can, we can counterspell here, and we can activate this on a block and shoot. So I like that a lot. We'll get rid of the uh, bridge here. Hiya. It's about to get, our skies are about to get pretty, pretty messy. Discard. All right, we'll get rid of the bridge. Bye-bye, bridge. At this point, the scred's way better. We don't care about this. We're looking to stop any sort of big shenanigans from happening. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. And, all right, let's go. Okay, let's ephemerate the Moldrifter again. Bloop. Our Killmancer, anyone? It's when these decks just get way too far ahead. Drawing way too much good stuff. Here comes some more things. Bloop. Oops, let's upkeep. Three, four, five. This will be six. Let's bring out our guy here, Mystic, Mystic Mac. All right, <laughs> that was gonna get really ugly next turn. Uh, I'm just gonna call this wide green so I know what we're up against. Breath weapon's gonna be a thing here. Don't think these, I think that's gonna be a bit of overkill. These are gonna be good, especially for Int. Scred I really liked. Saw enough non-creature shenanigans. I think this is going to be good. These are good for blockers. This is when it gets a little rough. I'll get rid of a brainstorm. 
Maybe one union. Boop. Let's do that. Pow. I'm going to be playing a whole lot of magic this weekend. My wife is camping yet again. My son is work a workaholic. If he's not working, he's at college. Very proud of the little man. So uh, it's me alone in a house. We'll keep. I really like that we've got the wildfire indestructible land here. I just wish we were going first, but wildfire will make it feel like we are. There's that. God, it is so quiet in here with my PC in the other room. It's just eerie. Not a fan of the artwork. Although in real life, that would look pretty cool. Eh, take it back. Zooming in, that doesn't seem as bad. Oh, good with a breath weapon feel here. I think we're just going to... Eh, nah, I'd rather... Uh, we're going to draw a card regardless. Represent four damage. It's a five-turn clock. If they don't use their mana for accelerants, let's see what they do. Indiana, yeah. <laughs> I play with my PC all the time. It's just when I'm streaming and doing an HD signal both ways, you know, and I want it to not stutter, then does does it fine. It's just a little loud, and so there wasn't really a, a happy medium there. So I was like, well, you know what? I'll just buy some cables, put it in the other room, and shabam. Okay, let's keep in mind that that only does one. Let's, I'm not too worried about famous last words, right? I'll say yes on this. I believe, hmm, good enough red. Let's get white. A little patriotic here if you're from the States. Red, white, and blue. Woo, woo, woo. Hiya. Thanks for joining me, everybody. If you're watching on YouTube, go give that subscribe button a, a little ring-a-ding and uh, help us out. Tell a friend, whatever. It's all word of mouth here. It's happened 8,000 times. I appreciate every last one of you. Good times. Oh, boy. Wow, was that a miss? I was like, nope, nope, nope. Oops, oops, oops. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. Now if we wa walk into a breath weapon, this will... I almost promise this will be a concession. I don't know many people that would uh, have the fortitude to lose five permanents and then that. All right, they're doubling down. Let's see what we get here. Oh, they get two critters out of the deal. An Est Invader and something nobody's ever seen before. The Phalanx of Arvigan. All righty. Only good when you're already winning. Taking three. Just about anything here is good. Old Drifter, nice. I mean, um, Ephemerate would be really nice here. I think their turn's going to be sitting back to play that phalanx. So, oh my god. Remember what I said, everybody? Let's go. Boop. Nighty night. Concession? Probably. Well, they're made of sterner stuff than I thought. Murphy Black. Good to have you with us, my friend. Woo! All right. Well, 4-1 on the day. So it happens when you bring kind of a a mean kicker, especially uh, I really like this design with the three unions main um, never dead draws you a card. It is an instant and white. And uh, I think on average it gained four to five life in all of those games. There were a few times. It, I think there was one time it gained eight, especially if you're on the uh, if you full, your hands full and your opponent is uh, waiting EOT and you do that. You draw the card, you gain eight quite a bit. Even against red, it's a nice little reprieve, and especially if you uh, bring it back via the... Um, who's the man? Uh, where is he? Where'd he go? There he is. Archaeomancer. Yeah. Although, masculine-looking hands, feminine-looking face, and obviously uh, the uh, reverse carapace persuasion, we can deduce what sex that is, but the, uh, yeah, the, the hands, pretty manly hands. Although that makes sense. Look at how often they're using their hands, right? They're going to age a lot more, so anyway. Sorry for that. It's a very strange aside there. So we got 20 lands in this beast. This is how I would build the Jeskai Ephemerate. Um, some incredibly powerful cards here that you can just keep 
revisiting with this and this and uh, ephemerate. Um, sometimes, you know, you can get a little uh, selfish in your deck building, and myself included, where you want to play two or three of these and all four of these. And in reality, you go set, set them up and you find them at optimal times and you're, you're fixing stuff uh, between this, the one Ash Barons, the plethora of av availability and islands. Again, this plays like a deck that um, is one color, but you have access to just all this stuff. So, yeah, and and with our sideboard, like uh, Murphy Black just said, there's quite a bit of a blowout potential. A lot of lists I see don't run any cast in a fire. This card is just so good against so many things, especially this little exile thing here. Um, really find I, I really like it, it's, even against a mirror. Like we didn't see that, but you know, being able to early and often. I lost a game. I think it was on Wednesday. Um, where, you know, I had a, I went, I went second. I had a wildfire hand with two lands. I had like a bluff and an island, and I played the bluff. Second turn, cast in a fire. The game was over. Obviously, there's plenty of games you can come back from and stuff, but that's just a good example of that first, you know, turn two, just whap. You know, just it's never dead. You can always, you know, at least uh, nab their critters and stuff like that. So anyway. All right, guys, I'm going to head out. Like I said, I'll be online all weekend long playing Magic and such, so please hit me up for a game or three and spread the word. Like, subscribe, do all that kid stuff, and we're going to go out with some uh, spooky popper things. We'll be back same time, same place. Popperganda. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Adios.